but uh, for each individual property, you don't know which title company is associated. So any any no any way. title company, they will issue very similar title report. The thing is, they are not free. So if you don't have any <coughs> business relationship with them, mm -hmm. they will refuse. They don't just those companies they don't just sell you the title report. By the way, you cannot go in there and say, "Hey, I want to purchase title report." They don't sell because title report is part of the deal. Only when you open the escrow account, the escrow account with them. Uh, for example, you have a property for sale, and this property is go through the certain title company. By that time, they will issue you title report for free. It's not really free. It's, it's including in their the whole package already. However, you cannot just walk into any one title company say, I don't want to do any other thing. I just want to buy title report. And they say, sorry about that. We don't provide that kind of service. Understand? So this is very important. OK, let me go to the next issue, OK? Uh, can anybody tell me um, what kind of information you can find, you can see on the title report? Title report is very important, by the way. Very important. Before you buy any real property, you need to read title report very carefully. So what is the very important information you can find on the title report? Name yeah, name of the owner. Very important. You want to make sure, okay, you are under the uh, process purchase the uh, real property. You need to make sure, okay, the person you're dealing with, say for example you are the buyer, you want to make sure the person you deal with is really the owner. Understand? Really is the owner. Understand? Right? Let me ask you one question, okay? If on the title report, if on the title report, the owner is a corporation or LLC, let me repeat, okay? It's, it's not strange when you invest on the commercial property, okay? Especially commercial property. After you read through your title report, you found out for sure this property is under the name of a corporation or ARC or any other business entity. How should you do to making sure okay, the person you deal with has authority? Because the seller is, is, a, is a corporation, it's an LLC. How can you make sure the person you are dealing with truly has authority? This is a very practical issue. Okay? This is very practical. Okay? You, you may encounter this issue once in a while in the future, even though probably you are not a buyer. Your company is the buyer, and you are the person in charge of this transaction. Okay, how how can you make sure the person, the natural person you are dealing with, and that person has the authority to represent the seller? How? Should be a supplemental any uh, letter or yeah, saying that right. they're close, very close. What kind of letter? Yeah, I want to yeah. go step by step. I want to make sure you, power you can power really... Power attorney. Well, power attorney is one, one document, one, one possibility. What else? Creation. Let me go back to the basic questions. Eventually, we've we, we gone through that questions probably uh, last session or a few sessions ago. Who is the person? Who is the person can legally represent the entity? Who? President, CEO. CEO. Okay, CEO is no problem. And who else? President. President. Oh, the chair. Chair. Sometimes CEO is president. Okay. 